Ooh, the new object 279. Let's see what we can do. Got your barrel. I believe I can't really. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Machine gun for it, right? There we go. <laughs> Good thing I already played it to know where the weak spots are. Well, hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. JB Ryder here. Welcome back to War Thunder. In today's video, I will be reviewing and playing the STRV 103-0. Now, if you're like me and you like playing War Thunder and you've been enjoying the Swedish ground forces that have been added in update 1.97, you're going to run into a brick wall at a certain point. And to be more specific, you'll hit that brick wall at rank 5 because when you have spaded all of your vehicles at rank 1, 2, 3, and 4, you'll still be left with around 30 to 40,000 ish experience points for the next vehicle. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, they're all around the same experience or uh, research points. Um, so I was on the IKV 91 and I still had 30,000 experience points left to grind before I could finally get it. And I already had everything unlocked. So I thought, hmm. Should I get the STRV-0 or not to speed up the grind a little bit? Because, you know, premium vehicles gives you a lot more XP and it gives you a lot more silver lines, which is, you know, always a positive. Uh, and a short answer is yes, it's definitely good to get the STRV-0, but I'll get into a little bit more detail on this vehicle because it's quite a unique vehicle. It's not like your average tank, which has a turret and stuff like that. This, is, uh, this one's kind of tricky to play. And if you're not patient, you might not even enjoy the vehicle. So this is the SRV 103-0. It's a very beautiful looking tank. And just look at the beautiful wedge in the front and the nice rear. I don't know. I just like this tank. Now let's check out some pros and then some cons. And uh, then we'll move on to some gameplay. Now the first uh, pro, obviously, it's the wedge shape of this vehicle. That means you will bounce a lot of shots, like almost every round in the game, except for APF SDS, because most of them just go straight through you. So that means if you get up to it in like 8.3 or 8.7, you'll meet a lot of those, which means you won't be able to bounce anything or almost anything, which is kind of rough for this vehicle. Honestly, I would put this vehicle at 7.3 so you don't get Play, or you don't get matched up with those players too much but you know uh, i don't decide that all right so you got a 40 millimeter plate up top and a 40 millimeter plate down below now as you guys can see there are some cheeks here which kind of make the effective thickness a lot lower because right here it's 193 and here it's 59 and 59 so that means if people shoot there or if they know where to shoot i usually i do get shot there sometimes uh, they'll take out your transmission and sometimes the shell will go through and blow up inside here and it will put you on fire the mobility of this vehicle is also pretty decent it's not too bad reverse speed is good forward speed is good uh traverse is pretty good with home aiming mode now uh with the other strvs i'm not sure if you guys have played them already uh the strv 103c and the strv 103a uh, when you get these stock these are horrible and they don't really want you to get the premium because you know compared to the premium you know premium has all the parts unlocked it's so much better than these ones when they when you first get them but once you fully upgrade them because right now i have this one fully upgraded it feels pretty much the same as the strv 103-0 and this one is almost fully upgraded i got the most important stuff and this one gets the apf sds which is very nice also what's nice about this one it gets a, a a plow type of thing in the front or the lower plate which hides the weak spots of the the two cheeks that i mentioned earlier which is pretty nice because in this strv and this one i get shot in the lower plate a lot and it usually that's where they usually shoot me to disable me or kill me which is kind of annoying the upper plate usually bounces more than the lower plate for some reason i think it's because of the hull aiming once you have hull aiming activated i think the tank moves a little bit up which means the uh, lower plate becomes a little bit less effective i think this is what happens like i'm aiming at someone hull mode activates and i think my tanks moves up a little bit to be able to shoot that person and the higher it goes the lower effectiveness my plate will have 
which is kind of annoying but this one fixes that issue because you get a nice extra plate here which helps out a lot you also get extra plates here which help out again heat and high explosive this thing is pretty fun i really like it this thing is a really dank destroyer but yeah we're here to talk about the premium strv so mobility wise it's pretty good it's not the best but it's not the worst either now if we take a look at the gun it has a 105 l74 cannon which gets access to two types of APDS rounds you got this one with the 303 278 and 160 millimeters of penetration and you got the one that's more effective at higher angles but a little bit less penetration at flat surfaces so i like to use the standard one because it gets the job done you also get access to a uh, high explosive and some smoke rounds also what's great about this vehicle it has a four second reload and you know even when you miss your shot because all aiming is kind of tricky you can follow up the second shot you know within four seconds which is pretty nice also a very unique feature of this vehicle another pro is this vehicle has only three crew members, but this is the only vehicle, or I believe all of them, these are the only vehicles where the driver can both drive and shoot the main gun. You know, in tank realistic battles, you need at least one driver and one gunner to operate the tank. If you lose your gunner or every crew member and the driver is the only one left, your tank gets destroyed. But in this one, you only need one person in the tank to operate the whole thing which is pretty neat, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, it also gets two little machine guns, 7.62s, which are kind of useless, to be honest, because they use hull aiming as well, and it's kind of tricky. It, it is good to knock down fences and spot enemies, but, you know, it, it won't do you any good for taking down low-flying aircraft. And obviously, another few pros are, you know, you get to research your next vehicle super quick and you make some extra lines and the repair cost is super low so you know that's pretty sweet it does have access to night vision but it is the real crappy one that you first get which is honestly it doesn't really help me at night i still can't see anybody but you know it's nice to get access to night vision and i think those are all the pros i can think of on top of my head for this vehicle now cons it does still have a lot of cons uh, for example the first con is it does not have access to smoke grenades because this vehicle uses hull aiming if they shoot a track of yours or disable your transmission which is in the front which gets disabled like as soon as someone shoots you that's probably what they're gonna hit your transmission and you won't be able to adjust your hull aiming which is kind of you know you really need that so that is kind of unfortunate uh, with the other strvs you do get smoke so once they disable you you can smoke up prepare and then by the time the smoke is gone you'll fully fixed up and then you can adjust your aim uh, this one as well these are the factory versions you know get some nice smoke grenades unfortunately this one does not get smoke grenades so that is kind of annoying now another big issue with this tank i think this is my biggest issue with this tank is you get set on fire a lot and it's super easy to do if you just shoot the left of the tank or right with the tank we think with like something like APHE or something you'll get set on fire instantly which is kind of annoying because once they shoot here the shell will penetrate and explode here you'll get set on fire and your engine will be taken out or your transmission which means you're gonna be a sitting duck for at least 40 to 50 seconds which you know it's kind of annoying and with no smoke people will just wait till your fires out and shoot here again and then you know the rest so that is also one of the biggest issue with this vehicle unfortunately third issue as you guys can see you know the top isn't that well protected uh aircraft with 20 millimeter cannons helicopters will take you out super quick from the top um honestly it hasn't happened too often with me personally when you're while playing game i think i mentioned that already but you know it is something to watch out for now another issue with this vehicle is when you spot someone driving past you and you activate all aiming mode and you you're waiting for your gun or your whole tank to move to that target it can take some time and sometimes that might get you killed which is kind of annoying um, once you get used to it, it's not a big issue anymore because, you know, I'll, I've learned how to snapshot a little bit. Well, not super snap, super quick, but you know what I mean. You know, I can see someone activate hallway, adjust my gun super quick, 
which still takes longer than a normal tank but you know you can do it but it is kind of annoying because sometimes they do spot you earlier than they than you are able to turn your tank and they'll just shoot somewhere here and you'll get put on fire and then you're stuck and then they'll just slowly finish you off so that is also pretty annoying so yeah those are some of the uh the cons for this vehicle obviously this one this these cheeks like i mentioned are pretty pretty exposed people can just easily shoot you there but for the rest this vehicle is pretty fun pretty awesome it uh it does help with the grind now as you guys saw i do have the cv90 105 tml as well um, now this is also good to get if you want to grind out the swedish tech tree because this one will also help you grind out the rank 7 vehicles faster problem is this thing has no armor and if you are not used to top tier um it's probably not a good idea to get this vehicle if you're a new player if you're a veteran then you know it's a pretty good vehicle it's pretty awesome it gets thermal in the binoculars and are in the commander's view and the gunner view it's pretty fast this thing can do everything uh except for bounce shots so you know pretty good vehicle also if you want to get this one instead of the strv i'll probably make a review on this one as well but a little bit later very beautiful tank very sexy unfortunately no armor but the strv 103-0 does have some armor and it's pretty fun to bounce shots which means you can get a lot more points for bouncing shots i believe i think i've once gotten 2000 points or 2800 points with the t95 just by bouncing shots and maybe getting some kills which is pretty insane um, so yeah this will have definitely do the same for you unless you get up to, to 8.7 and right now with the object 279 running around like crazy you know you're gonna have a lot of fun with this vehicle so yeah um let's move on to some gameplay i'm not sure what it's doing right now guys so this is what i mean about awkward aiming for some reason it's just there we go The new object 279. Let's see what we can do. Got your barrel. I believe I can't really. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Machine gun port, right? There we go. <laughs> Good thing I already played it to know where the weak spots are. Well, ruined that YouTuber's day. Now. Got a driver. He cannot see me, I believe. Here we go. What I just did here, I cannot do with the stock STRV. It just moves all wonky and stuff. Uh, that should be GG. There is someone here, but I'm not sure where. The aircraft is shooting him, so he's probably around here somewhere. Ah, you missed. Oh, he got my gun, though. Come on, save me, Leopard. Save me. <laughs> Thank you, man. I wonder if I can shoot through. Probably the can.
Oh, you actually can. And now I know. The more you know. There we go. I wasn't sure if you could shoot through the train cars. Alright, I heard some stuff going around to the left of me. Let's go help out. Alright, so uh, our teammates got killed at Alpha by an Object 279 again. Alright, so we got another uh, beefy boy. That's why everybody's struggling. But as you guys can see so far, zero deaths. Let's see if we can make it at Ace. He's capturing Alpha, so our best option is to wait. Because uh, the Object 279 is pretty fast, so... Uh, Also, here's something right here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there he is. I'm not sure if that's a 279. Uh oh. Yep, there we go. Ah, dude. Ah. Yeah, I was kind of surrounded. Okay, that's my bad. Alright, we got someone here. That's a bounce. Uh, it's a T10M. He can easily wreck me. Not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's dead. Uh, actually, someone else just died. D10M just died. Noise. Someone else there, I believe. We're just going in hot. Our dam is getting shot at. Uh oh. All aiming. Error. Uh oh. Abel, watch it. Chieftain is dead. Don't worry, man. I got the uh, armor-ish. We're going to take a left. Keep pushing. What the heck? What the heck was that? <laughs> Did you guys see that snapshot? That's what I mean. Sometimes you can get lucky and get two shots. But not always. Oh, like that. Didn't work out there. This is a T32. Pretty bouncy buy. There we go. Pushing. Hello, Mr. IS six. Don't worry, man, I got him. I got him. Ooh, Mr. Thief, 
44 or 54. Oh, did you see that? No. Oh. 